Alright, hey everybody, so my name is Tim, welcome back to the channel and uh, hopefully you like the sort of the sequence in the intro because uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to make one and I'm going to be doing that at Houdini School, it's going to be a live session, um, four live sessions actually, uh, which is my first time doing sort of online live sessions, which I'm pretty excited for, uh, so... Essentially, it means that I'm going to be teaching you how to make this uh, while you can ask questions while we're at it. So it's kind of like a like a live stream thing. Uh, it's going to be four uh, uh, four sessions of around two hours each, um, plus or minus. Like might be some might be a little bit longer, some might be a little bit shorter. And uh, pretty excited for this one. Uh, I'm pretty happy how the sort of the final demo shot turned out and that's exactly what you're going to be learning how to make and it's going to cover quite a lot of interesting things um, so as you as you could see in the intro it's one continuous shot of sort of uh, growing a brain that's why the course is called uh, uh, build your brain it's sort of inspired by the logo for Houdini school their logo is uh, uh, is a brain with headphones on and I figured uh, it's like the concept is cool like you're kind of like you're growing your brain while you're going to be watching my course so I figured oh that might be a cool idea to sort of actually grow a brain so I started just brainstorming ideas for that and I eventually came up with what I had before uh, like with, with what I have now uh, I, I had like I tried a bunch of different things first i had sort of an idea of like uh, uh doing like a like a cambrian explosion type thing and then everything clumping together uh which was the idea was like an explosion of knowledge uh now i just ended up with um just doing a continuous shot because like while i was working on it i figured it might actually be cool if we do just do one continuous shot because that's something i i haven't really seen before like i've seen some demos online of uh, people, do, people doing some cell division type stuff. But I've never seen like something starting with one cell and then really growing out to, to be one thing. And in order to accomplish this, I had to sort of utilize different techniques and sort of blend them together, which uh, I think is gonna make for a super interesting sort of course. Um, so the beginning section is is vellum. And essentially the, the interesting part here is that normally with vellum, if you you probably know this if you if you have played around with vellum you cannot just remove or add points during your vellum simulation because things will break because the constraints want to match with a certain point um so how, how did i how did i do this because this stuff is actually sort of dividing inside of vellum um so that's that's going to be interesting techniques which are going to be covered uh, during the course um there's also of course sort of the the nucleus of the cell uh which of course if you're going to have the vellum simulation they, it needs to start at the division point and then move to the center. So there's interesting techniques that come into play there. Then for the sort of medium size things, uh, because vellum gets slow if you're sort of gonna expand on this. So for the medium part where we're gonna really have hundreds or thousands of sort of cells, uh, I need a different approach. So that was used with, uh, essentially uses pops with pop grains. And I'm using all kinds of like soft techniques to sort of make this look like the similar type of look that we had with vellum in the beginning or just kind of so it still looks like it's sort of pushed up into each other and sort of sort of cells that are connected together essentially again with the nucleus is in there as well and then in the end uh when it's sort of really gonna form this brain i thought it would be cool to do sort of do a vdb attraction thing because that tends to sort of make these sort of cur curly things that brains all, all, all have like i have no idea if that's the name but like you, you know the, the the brain shape uh so i thought that would that would be a cool way to sort of complete the shot um so yeah we have that section and we're sort of blending this all together in shops it's one continuous setup there's no trickery well there there is trickery in shops but it's not uh, it's no composting trickery it's actually one rendered shot which made this a lot more complicated than if it was individual shots or if I tricked it all in compositing. It's actually one continuous sequence as you can see in the flipbook as well. Uh, and it was all rendered in one shot and which meant that while I was working on this and if I made some tiny, tiny changes in timing, I had to re-render the entire thing. So I've done dozens and dozens and dozens of renders. Uh, yeah, so that, that all complicated a lot of things, but I think it did leave me with a very interesting shot, which I think is gonna uh, make for a lot of interesting topics to to cover during these live sessions. Um, so, like like I mentioned, we're gonna cover the vellum stuff. We're gonna use uh, the the, the sub stuff, the grain stuff, VDB attraction, and we're gonna be rendering this in 
Um, so we're rendering this in Solaris context. I rendered this with Redshift. I actually started off the project uh, with Karma. The problem is Karma XPU has a lot of limitations. Essentially, we're a deal breaker in order to be able to render this. So you cannot do curvature yet with Material X, which I, I use curvature shaders quite a lot in here. Um, and a bunch of other things. Uh, they do work on Karma CPU. And I do I did actually build materials for that because I, I did do my first couple of renders with, with Karma, both XPU and CPU. But CPU was just getting too slow. So I figured, all right, I'm just gonna move this to Redshift. Uh, but during the um, during the training, I am gonna be covering both. Uh, the majority of the training is gonna be around the Redshift section, but I am gonna show you how to do similar techniques inside of Karma with Material X, for example, using Curvature, using Fresnel, stuff like that, uh, which are all things that I that I used extensively while rendering this. Uh, and because it's all in Solaris, it's all like it's pretty much just swapping out the material and some settings here and there. You want some retro specific settings or Karma specific settings. So there's going to be a small section in there uh, with Karma, depending on, of course, how extensive that is going to be is going to depend on the time. Because uh, we're going to do four live sessions of around two hours each. Uh, plus or minus it might be a little bit longer a little bit shorter so content might move a little bit between sessions as we go along like i i figured out how i'm gonna sort of split this up as you can see on the on the page in the description uh, below but of course stuff might change because we're doing it live and depending on the questions that are coming um that might 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 change a little bit uh but i'm, I'm really excited to do a sort of a, a, a live session uh, i've never really done a a live session before so if you want to sign up for that you can do that with the link in the description so if you want to be there live and ask questions, you can come attend to the live sessions and you can just watch it on demand later. Um, if you're a Patreon supporter, there's going to be discounts available. So if you're if you're a Patreon supporter, based on your pledge history, you can get a discount to sign up. So if you want to if you want to join in, if you're a Patreon supporter, make sure to send me a message before because uh, I can I can make discount codes for the uh, uh, for the live sessions and for the on demand stuff. Uh, so make sure to hit me up before you uh, before you sign up for that so I can give you a discount. Um, so I'm hoping I'm going to see some of you uh, during the live session or if you're going to just watch it on demand later, that's also fine. I'm pretty excited for this, all a little bit nervous for the, for the, for the, for the live stuff, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, just the whole interaction stuff and uh, yeah, let's see, let's see how that goes. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll see some of you there. Uh, hopefully you liked the this, the sequence here. I think I've got a lot a lot of cool stuff to teach here. I think it's going to make for sort of a great uh, a great course. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, and hopefully you'll see you there. Peace.